If you are new here, thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. If you're a returning subscriber and you are a B Squad member, thank you guys so much for the congratulations. We are definitely on this journey together and I am doing a lot of hand action right now. So I'm really excited and I can't wait for us to continue on our journey, our real estate journey together. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to become a licensed real estate agent in Jamaica. But before we get into the video, if you haven't watched any other videos yet, just go and click my name down below. Click my name, watch a video that interests you. I'm pretty sure you'll find something. I talk about lifestyle, travel, real estate now. Um, and if you like, just join the B-Squad, join the family, and also check out my Patreon and Amazon storefront and all those cool links down below. We'll help you save money, we'll have fun together, all these hand action good stuff that you guys will definitely like. I know, because you're here. I know, I know. Okay, let's get right into the video, guys. So, you need to be 18 years old to uh, practice real estate, like to be a salesman, a dealer, a property manager in Jamaica. So, if you're 18, good on you. If you're about to be 18, good for you. If you're younger than that, just keep waiting it out, keep learning. It's good that you're already watching this video. And then if you're older, it's never too late to start. Uh, just jump right in. So the first thing, you will have to go to the Real Estate Board's website or Real Estate Training Institute's links will be down below. And you'll have to get a form either from the office or from the website. And with that form comes a fee, $1,000. Basically, you're going to fill out that form. You're going to have your qualifications, like academics, you know, your address, like personal stuff that only you should know so you can fill it out. Very, very simple. And then uh, after you do that, there is a process that goes along with the application. You have to do an interview. But it's not like you're interviewing to be president of the United States. Let me not even get into how easy that is nowadays. But... <laughs> I digress. It's really not that hard. They're just going to ask you why real estate, ask you some simple questions. So there's no need to get, you know, flustered about. It's most likely going to be done via Zoom because of our new normal lifestyle. But yeah, so the form, the interview, and then a little waiting period, and then you get accepted. After you get accepted, you're going to get an email with all these beautiful information that you need to know your course time slots and all these extra things and just introductory statements etc etc all the information will be down below so for the course itself i did the three month period but i will pop up some pictures and this is for 2021 and this is why i urge you to check the links in the description box depending on when you're watching this video so i'll pop up some pictures um for the 2021 schedule because they just uploaded them I did the three month one and I believe it was um it was September, October, November. And then I ended up doing my exam in January, at the end of January. So I had a pretty lengthy period to learn about real estate. So with that being said, they have one month programs that are very intensive. Like I said, I'll pull up the pictures so I don't want to give you any wrong information and also check the description box. This will be the last time I'll bring it up for a while. <laughs> so there are 108 hours that you must complete in order to move on to the next level, which will be taking the exam. And there are, the hours are broken down into different subjects, different classes, different courses, whatever you call it, wherever you're from. So I'm going to list them off right now. And like I said, this is for 2021, 2020. I don't know if it's changed in the future, uh, but it's real estate marketing one, law of contract and tort, land law, intro to valuations, intro to physical planning, principles of construction technology, map interpretation and land registration, the real estate dealers and developers act 
and then Proceeds of Crime Act. And so once you take all those courses, you have different professors. I think a couple of them you have like the same teacher or you have like another teacher comes and talk about a different section. Um, but once you take those, equaling up to 108 hours, you then move on and take your exam. So before we move on to the next section, I'm just gonna talk about the courses and my experience with the courses. So uh, it was done via Zoom. And personally, I didn't really like the Zoom class experience. It was new to all of us, new to the teachers. Um, technology is a very difficult thing for some older people to understand. Heck, even some younger people can't really understand technology. So it was a difficult transition for us. And I don't think the... the, the um, the flow of it all was that cohesive. Um, there was always interruptions, whether it be with a connection or with another student not muting their mic. It was like, quite frustrating. But for the most part, we got all the information across pretty well. And, you know, it kind of still felt like a regular classroom. It was, it was actually really nice. So I can't knock it that bad. Um, let's see, if I had to pick my favorite subject regardless of the teacher because that's a whole different topic that i'm not even going to get into regardless of the teacher that taught the the subject i would say i really liked real estate marketing and i liked oh there's this one teacher after i really liked her i can't remember precisely what the class was about that she talked about i might pop in the subject but um, I really like, she was like the very last person we got. And so we only got her for like one day, a couple hours. Um, a couple hours, not even a day. She was really, 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 she told us everything that we needed to know off the bat. So I really like that. But I do like marketing a lot. It's very interesting, especially coming from me, from my YouTube and Instagram. I do marketing on there. So I was genuinely just really interested in that. I loved construction technology um it was very nice very straightforward it's very interesting learning about the builds of houses of different buildings you know learning about windows and doors like you wouldn't believe how many different types of doors and windows and the roofs that secure us from the elements you wouldn't believe how interesting learning about that process is down to foundation and all that good stuff so it was really nice and then I also really, 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 really like Proceeds of Crime Act. I don't know if you've ever watched Ozark on Netflix. If you have, drop a comment down below because Marty, he had some blonder money. So it was really cool learning about actual laws and um, intergovernmental, intergovernmental, who just scratched that out? <laughs> it was actually just really cool learning about money laundering and all that cool stuff, especially when it comes to different countries and how you interact with the financial institutions. So that's something that you're going to have to learn about. It's very important because scammers, scammers, people will scam you and you don't want to be involved in that negativity. You don't want to be involved in any illegal action. So it was very fun learning about that. And then, yeah. So I would say different, different days. Like for me personally, my section, like I said, was three months. So we had our class every Wednesday and a couple Tuesdays out of the period itself. Sorry about that, guys. The plane was flying overhead. Um, I was, I believe, talking about how the classes, so basically some of them go on for four hours. Some was an hour. You would have like 15 minute lunch or you have, well, not lunch, but break. And then you'd have an hour lunch. Um, yeah, so basically it's just, it's straightforward. It's like a classroom, but online, especially with what's going on now. So the next thing is you're gonna, after you complete it, you're gonna get like a certificate. Well, not really a certificate. You're gonna get a form telling you you've completed the class. Here is your number that you need to know when you're going into the exam room. Basically, you're gonna put that number on the exam paper. So you're just gonna get that basic stuff. You're gonna get the breakdown of each class. So like, 
so for example mark real estate marketing will have like 12 questions land law will have like 17 questions physical planning would have six questions you get that breakdown of the sections on that piece of paper for the exam and the exam itself you have two exams you have a POCA, which is the Proceeds of Crime Act exam, which is separate from the real estate salesman exam. So that exam is an hour long. That exam is an hour long. The real estate salesman course exam is three hours long and there's a hundred questions. So let me jump back to polka because I didn't tell you guys. The polka exam is an hour long and it has about 15 questions with number 15 having different parts to answer. So it kind of adds up to more than 15 questions, but it's 15 questions. And then the real estate salesman course is three hours long with a hundred question. And I'm going to tell you the truth. The polka exam was really, 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 really easy for me. It was open notes. Um, but that doesn't mean it's going to be easy for you. So make sure you study. But once you read everything, once you pay attention in class, having the knowledge from the classroom setting to then the exam being open notes was just very beneficial. Like the questions aren't easy, but if you know what you're doing, then it will be easy to answer, easy to, to, to do process of elimination and, you know, easy to understand what they're asking you. The salesman exam now was very, very tricky. It was very difficult. Um, they say that we're not here to trick you, but to me it was very tricky. A lot of my peers felt that, and not two, three of them, like my whole group, about 70 of us, felt that it was very tricky. So I urge you to study. It's not something easy that you're just going to breeze over. People that are doctors, lawyers, accountants, artists, like older people, younger people, fail because they go in thinking that it's going to be something all simple and easy it's actually not um i would say to manage your time well which i don't think was a problem for many of us because we finished the exam within like an hour and a half two hours and then we took that time to go back over the exam uh, i will say again it was very misleading it was very tricky a hundred percent i'm not even gonna lie to you um, some of the questions were worded in the most ridiculous ways to be a hundred percent transparent. Um, but you have three times to take the exam. So if you do fail on the first time, you can take it again. The fee is $5,000. Again, this information might change. So please use the links in the description box, but to retake, let's say you fail polka to retake the exam is $5,000. If you fail both of them, it's $7,000 to retake. So just don't waste your money because it is pretty costly. I don't think I mentioned it, so I'm going to jump way back. I'm so sorry if I'm all over the place. Like I said, everything will be down below. So I didn't mention earlier, but the course itself is $70,000, I believe. I'll put the correct number above if I am like off a couple thousand but it is in the seventy thousand dollar range um so you don't want to waste your money it is very expensive it's very it's a long process it is draining you you're gonna have to use all your hair strands all your um <laughs> if you know you know you're gonna you're gonna have to pull out your toolbox and use every single tool in that kit okay so don't think that it's going to be really easy and just simple. It's very hard. Um, okay, where do we go on next? So once you take the exam and you pass, congratulations. You will then um, be able to get your license to practice sales, rentals, and leases in the real estate market, basically. So this part of the video is how to get your license after you've passed. So you've passed, congratulations. So the first thing that I would recommend, everyone does this differently. So if something you feel like will work better for you, just do it that way. But this is what I did. I interviewed with brokerages. Even before I passed, I just had to set up interviews. I wanted to get to know people. I wanted to see how they would 
interact with me. I wanted to see if they would turn me down before they even knew I passed or not, or you know how things would go. So interview with brokerages and a brokerage is so after you interview with them get a feel of who you want to go with who you want to work with then you want to get a formal pass letter from the real estate board to send to your brokerage of choice after you get that, you will then receive a letter from the broker saying, yeah, we'll take Bacana on, granting that she gets accepted by the real estate board, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, something along those lines, saying that you are attached to them, that you will be attached to them once you get your license. So I will link, like I said, the REB, I will link their website down below that talks about the real estate board um, process after you pass your exam, what to do to then become a actual practicing licensed realtor. So you're going to have to pay a fee to them, which is not prorated. So you're going to have to pay a $9,000 application fee. Yeah, $9,000 application fee. And then after you turn in all the application information, which is basically uh, the letter from the brokerage, uh, actually it's like a um, proof of employment type letter, you're going to need a police report, you're going to need a bankruptcy report, you're going to need, uh, one second, you're going to need proof of address, you're going to need a two, Passport size pictures certified by someone, whether that be a lawyer, a JP, I think pastor, one of those type of people. It's all down below. You're also going to need three reference letters. Um, and yeah, I think you might need a couple more things. But like I said, check the link in the description box for all that. So... Once you do turn in that application, you then have to pay $22,000 for your licensing fee. And I guess it does have to do with some type of government regulation, government laws, but that's what you have to pay. So then after that now, you will be a licensed realtor, but you have different stuff associated with it. So the Real Estate Association of Jamaica is now where you'll be actually a realtor associate or a realtor realtor, if that makes sense. I, I, I have no idea how to explain it. It's still really weird in my head as well. But once you're associated with the Real Estate Association of Jamaica, um, then you'll be a realtor. I'll pop all these information up below. I don't want to give anybody the wrong information. I just might not be the best person at explaining it, but I will be the best person of putting all the information you need in the description box or on the screen. So you have to pay a fee, a membership fee to the RAJ, and then you also have to pay the 254 US dollars MLS fee. So the MLS is the multiple listing service and it's basically a platform for realtors to share their listings and to find out information about their company and other realtors in Jamaica who are members of the RAJ, along with market information. So it's very, very useful tool for realtors. So I would not sleep on it. Uh, I know some brokerages, you don't have to be a member. Some, it's required for you to be a member of RAJ to be a realtor attached to their brokerage. So just find out. I think it's beneficial, but find out the information depending on the brokerage that you, are, will, be, that you will be attached to. All right, guys. So that's all the information that I have to share with you. But like I said, please check down below. I cannot stress enough to check down below. Check the description box for all the links to these individual websites. There should be about three websites that you see down below to check the links to. If not two, there must be three.
Thank you guys so much. If you have any question that you can't find down below, please feel free to drop a comment. We're all here to help one another and have a great day. Make sure you like this video. Go check out some other videos. Subscribe before you head on out and I'll see you soon. Tell me what you want from me. talking about wow i have the memory of a goldfish um okay so yeah different different <laughs> that's not where i left off so we'll just cut this we talked about all this we're on to when you pass i have two different people i swear that truck always does this when i'm recording like he knows when I'm recording and he drives by and he's like it's about that time and then drives by so we are coming with a force yeah lessons we are reaping we coursing on for